Exponents and logarithms are very common in applied mathematics. When dealing with these concepts, all the normal rules of mathematics apply. However, there are some additional rules that we need to know. 1 is x raised to the a plus b equals x raised to the a times x raised to the b. The second rule is x raised to the a all raised to the b equals x raised to the a times b. Let's look at an example of these two rules. If y equals 3x cubed all squared times x, then we can simplify this. First, we need to distribute the squared power to the 3x cubed, since the squared power is the exponent on that entire phrase, then that entire function. So first the 3 gets squared, 3 squared is 9, and the x cubed gets squared. But from our second rule, we know that x cubed squared is the same thing as x raised to the 3 times 2. Well, 3 times 2 is 6, so this is the same thing as x raised to the 6. And this is multiplied by x on the outside. From our first rule, we know that x raised to the a times x raised to the b is the same thing as x raised to the a plus b. So x raised to the 6 times x, which is x raised to the 1, is x raised to the 6 plus 1, or x raised to the 7. And so this simplifies down to y equals 9x raised to the 7. The third rule is x raised to the negative a equals 1 over x raised to the a. So basically, if you have a variable that has an exponent and you move it from the numerator to the denominator, you need to change the sign on the exponent. For example, if we have x raised to the negative 1, and this is in the numerator, when we put it on the denominator, we need to change the sign of the negative 1 so it becomes 1 over x raised to the positive 1, which is just 1 over x. Another example is if we had 1 over x raised to the negative 3. So x raised to the negative 3 is on the denominator, and if we want to bring it up to the numerator, we need to change the sign in the exponent, so it becomes x raised to the positive 3. For the next few rules, we need to know what a natural log is. The natural log of y is the power to which e, which is just a constant, which is the number 2.718, must be raised to in order to obtain y. So, from this definition, we know the fourth rule is if y equals e to the x, then natural log of y is equal to x. Because again, the definition of the natural log is the natural log of y is the power to which e must be raised to to obtain y. And so if y equals e to the x, well, what power must e be raised to to obtain y? We know it's x. That's why the natural log of y is x. The following three rules are unique to logarithms. Number five, the natural log of x times y equals the natural log of x plus the natural log of y. Six, the natural log of x divided by y is equal to the natural log of x minus the natural log of y. Seven, the natural log of x raised to the a is equal to a times the natural log of x. Let's look at an example using these rules. If y equals e raised to the x plus x times z squared all over w, then the natural log of y is equal to, first, the first rule we're going to use is the natural log of x divided by y equals the natural log of x minus the natural log of y. So here, e raised to the x plus xz squared is all in the numerator. And so first we take the natural log of that. And then we subtract the natural log of the denominator. In this case, it's just w, so we minus the natural log of w. Then we look at this first part, and we know from our rules that the natural log of x plus y is the same thing as the natural log of x plus a natural log of y. Natural log distributes over addition. So we can rewrite this as natural log of e to the x plus the natural log of xz squared. And then we still have this minus the natural log of w in the end. Now the natural log of e to the x is x, because remember, what's the definition of the natural logarithm? The natural logarithm of the thing you're taking is the power to which e must be raised to to obtain the thing you're taking the natural log of. So this is really saying, what power must e be raised to to obtain e to the x? Well, x, because e to the x is e to the x. So whenever you take the natural log 
of an exponential, which is just what we call e raised to something, the natural log will just be that something that e is raised to. In this case, it's just x. The, nat the second term, the natural log of xz squared, remember from our rules that when you're multiplying two things, you want to add them. So this becomes the natural log of x plus the natural log of z squared. And then we still have the minus natural log of w in the end. Finally, the third term, the natural log of z squared, remember when we had a variable that was raised to an exponent, we can move the exponent from within the natural log into a coefficient of the natural log. So the natural log of z squared becomes 2 times the natural log of z. And that's the end of this review.